What up, what up, y'all? Tim Z here. Back at it again, like you can always expect. You know what I mean? And today, I'm going to be doing a comparison video between Axwell Wallet and Ridge Wallet. All right, let's get into it. Now, this box is empty because I'm currently using this. So we'll put this aside. Now, let's open this. You got a money clip. Got a sticker instructions on how to use the wallet and you have the wallet itself now you guys may be asking me tim z why is the wallet orange on the border why is the wallet orange and your plate copper on this one showing a black plate i mean a black wallet and copper plate it's because i'm currently using it all right now the thing about Axwell Wallet here that's so cool, the main thing that I like about it is that you can change your color of your wallet anytime you want. It's very simple. Pop, right? Pop. Just like that. And now it can be done on both sides. This side can also come off, right? Now, okay. All right, that's like the first thing about this wallet. All right, you know what? Let me take this off because I like the orange with the black, okay? But you can see it's very easy to interchange either side, okay? Both sides can be interchanged. Now, let's see. What do we want to start with here? All right. I will say I used this wallet for about a month, maybe a little more. I cannot remember when I started using this. OK, now it has held up perfectly fine. Right. There's no ripping or anything over here on the strap. And I've used my wallet a lot. And look, there's no scratches. OK, and I keep other stuff in my pocket with the wallet. Right. And it's held up fine. OK. Now, here's the ridge. I've been using this for a year maybe about a year maybe two i cannot remember that you could check when i made a video on this it was a while back but look this one's well used okay got a lot of lint on it and the finishing the gunmetal um anno or coating on the titanium is worn here it's been scratched a lot <clears throat> now Functionally, they do the same exact thing. All right, let's let's not kid ourselves. It's really not that much into it. It's two two big plates, rubber band in the middle holding it together. Right, so this one's hold, uh, holding the plate by screws. This one's by magnets. Right, functionally they do the same thing. Now there was only a few things that were different about each other. Um, the two, okay. Uh, the ridge. With all the cards and the tray, you know, all my cards, depending on how many cards you got, it's gonna be different for you. My cards and tray, which is, you know, this the, this one holds a coin tray. This one has a coin tray also right there. The ridge was 17 millimeters with all the cards and tray. Now the Axwell with all the cards and tray was, uh, what was it? Like 19 millimeters, okay? It was a little bit more, okay, because the coin tray is thicker and also the wallet is slightly thicker. You see, to fit the interchangeable plate, it has to be wider over here and this plate too. So that's the main difference in the thickness, I will say, okay? Got to keep it 100 with you guys, okay? Now... I'm the type of guy who has tons of cards. A lot of people don't have as many cards as I do in their wallets, so it's going to be slimmer for you anyways, okay? Now, I will say the Axwell, I really like how you can change the plates. Now, I only got two colors here, okay? Uh, for me, honestly, I like I said, I keep it real with you guys. The copper is a little bit too heavy for me. You know what? Let's pull out the scale. <laughs> All right. Now, this is 149 grams, okay? Let 
5.2 ounces, okay? Yep. Now let's weigh this one. This is with all my cards. 6.2 ounces with everything. My cards. Come on, man. Cash. So for me, yeah, aluminum is the way to go. I only got like one more ounce in here for being a full wallet. Yeah, no brainer for me. Um, here, let's weigh the ridge. Three ounces with the coin tray. All right. Yeah, so aluminum is the way to go if you want to have um, a light pocket. Now, I'm going to say for real, the copper is a little bit too heavy for me. It's going to, if you're wearing uh, shorts in the summer, this is going to bring your pocket down. All right, this is pretty heavy. Okay. All right. Now, another thing about the Axwell, let's see. I really like how you can fidget with this. You can just stand here like, like <laughs> it's like a fidget toy almost. But don't slam it, you know. But uh, yeah, it's kind of cool, right? Having a plate here that can just come off, like, right? And that's really what's cool about it: the changing of the plates, of the colors. Now we know there's a lot of uh, things in the EDC community where people like to change their colors on their knives. You know, quick change for a few screws and it changes the scale. This just happens to be orange. And that's what's cool about Axwell. You don't have to keep buying a new wallet. You can just keep changing the plates. All right. Uh, it has plenty of snapping action. All right. I, I can't really snap it here because I got all my cards in here. And can I show my cards? Okay. But if you open it, you, you press it down here, fan out your cards like that. And then you squeeze in this corner. And make sure you keep one hand in front of your cards when you snap it open. Because if you don't, the cards will fly out. All right? That's going to happen with pretty much any wallet of this sort. Right? Ridge, Axwell, whatever you find on Amazon. You got to keep your hand here to catch the cards. Okay? Now, let's see. The price. Let's go over that. Pricing of the aluminum is $72 right now. Um... I don't know if they ever sell for full retail, but right now it's 72 at its discounted price. But there's also coupon codes all the time, very often at least, and you could get it at a discount. Uh, it's RFID pr um, protection on your cards, just like the Ridge. You know, yeah, that's good. You don't want people skimming your cards or anything, whatever. Now, but what else do I want to say about the Axwell? Oh, yeah, okay. Now, the Axwell's thicker, right? You know, and I... It's mostly because of the interchangeable plates, like I said before. But I, I after using the Ridge, I mean, the Axwell, there was one thing that came up. Like, it was like when I was trying to pull out my cash or whatever. Sometimes I put cards back here, too, business cards, any kind of card that I'm not usually carrying, but it's temporary. And like, I tried to go in there and I pulled like, like this. And I was like, oh shit, like I pulled the um, back plate off by accident because you know, this strap pulls on the back plate, right? And that's really the, my only negative about this wallet, okay? It's pretty much that. The thickness um, being a little thicker than the ridge, that's kind of like, okay because the interchangeable plates right this take some and give some over here this is to have the changing colors and the magnets and stuff you have a little more thickness but that's really it about the axwell that i mean it's just that the money clip i mean the money uh i guess the clip also would do this too you put the clip on here the clip would snap um there's a little the clip snaps in right here. And if you pull on the clip, the same thing's going to happen, right? The plate's going to come up. All right. That's the only thing that you just watch out for on this one, right? That's it. Other than that, it's a nice design. It's aluminum, lightweight. The copper's not so lightweight, but maybe you're not like me and you don't mind carrying 
5.2 ounces just for wallet, right? Or whatever it is, my scale might be off. And yeah, you know what I really think is they're comparable to each other, okay? This one is not easy. Uh, you can't change its color easily. Like you would have to buy the plate or something and take these screws off, right? And then screw them back in. And you would also have to make sure the screws don't come loose. This one, magnets, easy, right? Get a plate, put it on, okay? And there was one thing I was thinking about this, um, about the Axwell wallet. What would happen if Axwell only had interchangeable plates on the show side, but on the money clip side, it was just plain black or something, you know, like something that couldn't be changed, right? That way they could slim down the back profile uh, of this uh, wallet, right? One side will be thicker, this side, and the other side will be thinner, right? Because they wouldn't need to have a magnetic plate here. And that would slim down the wallet considerably, okay? Considerably. Here, I'm going to empty my wallet right now so I can show you guys thickness and stuff. Um, all right. I'm going to put my stuff away. Take the cash out. Now, here. This is the thickness between... The ridge and the Axwell wallet with the coin tray in, okay? All right, here, let me, let me make this a little more scientific for you guys with measurements. All right. Oh, let's, well, we got, damn, I can't see it on the camera. 13 millimeters, all right. 10. All right. But most of that thickness is coming from that coin tray. The coin tray is very thick, all right, compared to the ridge. And that does mean that you fit something thicker in the Axwell's coin tray than you could on the ridge. So there's that, all right. Now let's remove the coin tray from both to just get a good look at the wallet by itself. All right. Now, why did I put the caliper away? Okay. Now we have eight millimeters on the Axwell and we have seven. Wow, guys, eight millimeters thick on the Axwell with nothing in it, no coin tray, and seven on the ridge. So in reality, the ridge is really not that much skinnier, and it doesn't have the interchangeable plates. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I mean, if Axwell removes the removable plate from one side and they make it a permanent solution, you know, one color, and just have the removable plate on this side where you can see everything, right? All the sides can be covered by money, so you're not really going to see the color as much. And I don't know, it's just an opportunity to make the wallet thinner and make it like have the inter uh, interchangeable plate but be skinnier maybe than the ridge or the same at least and that would be a that would be amazing imagine you could have the interchangeable plate and be this thin yeah that that would be crazy but as is only one millimeter more and you could have interchangeable plates on both sides that's not bad either all right, I didn't check the Ridge's pricing, but I'm sure the Ridge costs more than the Axwell right now. This one's probably like more like 100, if I remember correctly, when I paid. This one was like 72, all right? 
but yeah guys i mean there's not much else to say about these they they're very similar of course the ridge came out first but the axwell something new you know interchangeable plates and that's the main thing that they bring to the table uh, function functionality is the same thickness is just one millimeter more if you don't use the coin tray and that's great now there's nothing else much to say from my side that was really it okay overall i think the axwell wallet is a good wallet i think it's nice to have the interchangeable plate over here thickness is only one millimeter more i would if they did a future iteration of this and they made this a permanent plate and made it thinner to make it the same thickness as the ridge that would make it a game changer um i don't know that's just a free idea you know i don't know who knows if they could do that i mean they definitely could if they wanted but i don't really who knows right i think if you are the type of person who likes to change their wallet or their phone case even <laughs> i don't know i don't do that but you want to change your edc up and take cool photos and they have carbon fiber and stuff all a bunch of different colors then this wallet is cool for you you can match it with your knife for example right or your pen yeah so hey can't really say much bad about this there was only one negative really which is part of the functionality it's just this right digging for your money um that's pretty much it all right guys i'm not gonna keep rambling this video is almost damn near 20 minutes long um yeah i'll leave a link for you guys for the ridge wallet and the axwell wallet all right um there's a lot of axwell wallets on the site a lot of new colors and stuff coming. Ridge always has new colors also. Um, but you guys can decide what you like more. You know, if you like the interchangeable plates, I think it's worth it. If you like Ridge, um, no interchangeable plate magnetically anyway. And then, uh, hey, they're both good. All right. I think Axwell is nice with the color changing. All right, guys, if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Tim Z USA. And until next time, Tim Z out.